Brad, technology product specialist here at Kinsey, and today we're going to talk about hydraulic hookups and flow settings on Blue Drive Equip planners. We're on a 3660 planner today, but it's very similar on a 4900 as well. So let's walk through them and talk about each circuit individually. We're going to start with our red set of hoses. Okay, we have the red color coded ends on. Red is for raise. It's going to do our raise and lower functions of the planner. We want to make sure and set our hydraulic flow to maximum to ensure we have the fastest raise and lower times. Probably going to be on your number one remote, but red is handling all the raise functions. So our next set of hoses are the blue hoses. Blue hoses are going to do your marker control and your fold functions. Probably on a number two remote, kind of personal preference. Uh, we only require about 80% flow or maybe a little less on your remote flow control setting just simply because you don't need a lot of speed on the markers and there are speed settings back on the planner itself to adjust marker raise and lower speed. So that's the blue hoses. If we look at our next function, the yellow hoses, these are for bulk fill. They also might tie into true depth hydraulic downforce or weight transfer depending on which model of planner. No matter what though, the yellow hose's main function is for the bulk fill system. We recommend running about 80% flow on the bulk fill circuit. On a blue drive equipped machine, the bulk fill system is controlled automatically through the display using the setting that you decide. So a set flow rate is all that's needed. The system will automatically control it for you. A unique item when we're looking at the bulk fill hoses are one is a standard Pioneer end this one is still a Pioneer end, but it looks kind of like a shower head on the top. These can be plugged into a standard remote. This one looks a little different for two reasons. Number one, it's a free flow tip, meaning it free flows one direction. <clears throat> There's no restriction like this one is. You obviously have to depress the end. This is designed to go in a standard Pioneer end, opens it and allows, again, free flow into the tractor. The nice part about this hose is when you try or if you would run the remote in reverse, it would stop flow going backwards. So it's a check valve as well that helps prevent any damage to the motor if you run the remote the other direction or the incorrect way. So again, it looks a little different, but can be plugged directly into the back of the tractor in a standard remote, no problem. Okay, so that's the yellow hose. We get to the black set of hoses. Okay, these are going to be for your alternator circuit. Okay. <clears throat> alternator circuit, black, same style of tip setup as our yellow hoses where we have a standard Pioneer end, which is our pressure hose, and then we have our shower head style of end, which is our free flow one direction, check the other direction type of hose. This, again, can be plugged into a standard remote. Recommended flow on the alternator circuit is always going to be 100% or maximum flow. A couple reasons for that. Number one, you're only going to require about 10 gallons a minute to run the circuit. But of course, you have to remember the alternator circuit really covers and controls everything on the machine. We never want it to slow down or stop its RPMs because of course it can affect planting or general operation of the planter. So we always recommend this guy to be on maximum flow. The last hose, which is all by itself, it's kind of a pink labeled hose and there is a CD imprinted on the tag itself. CD is standing for a K-strain. So this one is a zero pressure K-strain return line going into the tractor. Make sure that whatever you're connecting or the connection on your tractor is specifically a zero pressure return. This is different than a standard motor return on the back of a tractor. It truly needs to be a zero pressure case drain dump back to the tractor. You'll notice too that this hose is utilizing the same shower head tip. Another reason if you forget to plug the case drain hose in because again it's extra oil that's either coming from a motor circuit, could be coming from a lift circuit depending on the model of planter that you're raising or lowering. This will ensure that if the case drain hose falls out of the tractor, it will simply just dump oil on the ground and not cause any seal issues on the motor. If we were to have a standard tip on, or if you want to change it to a standard Pioneer tip, make sure that it stays engaged in the tractor. It doesn't fall out because if you have a positive closed tip, 
like a standard Pioneer end, there's no way, nowhere for that K-strain oil to go, which of course can cause seal damage to the motor and of course cause either a motor replacement or motor repair, which of course leads to downtime in the spring. So make sure this is truly a K zero pressure K-strain line that you're plugging the CD or K-strain hose into, okay? So just to review, red hoses raise maximum flow, blue hoses lift fold approximately 80%, your yellow hoses 80% flow controls bulk fill, various other functions depending on the model such as true depth or hydraulic weight transfer. Black hoses, alternator, 100% flow or max flow. And then of course, K-strain, zero pressure K-strain return on the back of the tractor. So that kind of covers hydraulic hose hookup. The last function we're gonna talk about since we talked about physical hydraulic remote connections to the tractor is the PTO pump. This of course is on our 3660 still. So it's a single stage hydraulic pump that's attached to the tractor with a tractor specific PTO pump mount purchased from another supplier. This pump is a single section pump. Since it only runs vacuum, our 3660 only has one vacuum fan. So it's a single stage hydraulic pump. On a 4900, it would be just another section of PTO pump. So just be slightly longer. Same rule applies, your tractor specific PTO pump mount goes onto the tractor. You then attach the pump to that tractor specific mount. Big question is always how fast or how much flow is this pump providing? So this pump provides all of the hydraulic flow necessary for the number of vacuum fans you have on your planter. So in this case, we're gonna need approximately 15 gallons a minute to run our vacuum fan. Again, on a blue drive equipped machine, all of the controls as far as the vacuum level and the setting is all run automatically through the display. It's all a closed loop system. So when you want to run vacuum, you simply turn your PTO on and of course the pump starts to run. Recommended PTO RPM range, we always want it to be above 800 PTO RPM. A lot of people need to think that you have to run it at 1000 to get the maximum flow and that's really just not true. The pump is oversized for its application. So anything above 800 RPMs, PTO RPMs on the tractor is more than enough to provide enough flow for the vacuum circuit. Again, the planner itself is going to do all the controlling, set the vacuums to what you have set in the Blue Vantage display. Any other questions, check out our other YouTube videos or be sure and contact your local Kinsey dealer.